Deep beneath the forest floor, the ant kingdom flourished, a testament to order and industriousness. The queen's general, a pillar of strength and wisdom, watched over her industrious subjects, ensuring the kingdom's prosperity. Unbeknownst to the bustling colony, a scout ventured far, pushing the boundaries of their known world. Suddenly, an unnatural disruption in the Earth's ancient tapestry caught the scout's attention. A primal instinct of alarm seized the scout. Something was gravely amiss, demanding immediate report. The scout's frantic return rippled through the colony, an unspoken alarm echoing through the tunnels. Chitters! Rumble. The call to arms echoed swiftly through the colony, and loyal soldiers answered with unwavering resolve. The first reconnaissance squad ventured forth, eyes and antenna peeled for any sign of the unseen foe. Deeper into the earth, the true scale of the enemy's incursion became terrifyingly clear. The ant scouts watched, horrified, as the seemingly endless horde of termites consumed the earth. Amidst the mindless drones, a harbinger of true danger emerged. Though blind, the termite soldiers' movements spoke of a deadly purpose, guarding the expanding territories. Having witnessed enough, the reconnaissance team made the grim decision to fall back and deliver their dire report. The grim tidings returned to the heart of the kingdom, carried by weary yet resolute messengers. The time for observation was over. The general prepared to rally the across the kingdom, every ant prepared their individual efforts weaving into a tapestry of collective strength. An army like no other, bound by an ancient pledge, gathered, ready to defend their home. Meanwhile, the termite legions, an unfeeling tide of destruction, pressed ever onward, consuming all in their path. From the heart of the chaos, the termite leader directed its forces, a silent, implacable will. Recognizing the overwhelming odds, the general realized the ants could not stand alone. They needed allies. A diplomatic mission, fraught with peril, embarked to forge bonds in the face of annihilation. The surface world was a realm of giants, each step a gamble, each shadow a potential predator. From the shadows emerged the Elder Spider, its ancient presence commanding both respect and fear. The ancient predator considered the plea, its wisdom weighing the cost and consequence of intervention. With a silent gesture of ancient accord, the Elder Spider pledged its formidable might to the ant cause. Empowered by their first success, the envoy pressed on, the fate of their kingdom resting on their tireless legs. Their next destination, the aerial fortress of the Wasps, presented a new, formidable challenge. The ant leader bravely articulated their desperate need, seeking air superiority against the subterranean threat. With two mighty allies secured, the envoy's purpose burned brighter, fueling their tireless march. The path to their final ally 
led through a shadowed realm where armored giants held sway. At last, they reached the stronghold of the formidable Beetle Champion, their final hope for a united front. From the depths, the mighty Beetle Champion appeared, an embodiment of ancient, unwavering strength. The ancient champion pondered the fate of the insect world, weighing the destiny of all against its own solitary peace. Mission accomplished, the triumphant envoy hastened home, carrying the promise of a united front. The tales of successful alliances brought a glimmer of hope, a shared burden, to the general's weary mind. With new allies on their side, the general began to meticulously craft the grand strategy for the coming battle. The Ant Kingdom's defenders emerged from their sanctuary, marching towards an uncertain, perilous dawn. At the designated rendezvous, the Elder Spider awaited its newfound allies, a silent, powerful guardian. From the skies, the Wasp Squadron descended, their buzzing wings a pro- Completing the triumvirate, the armored beetles arrived, their immense power ready to shatter the Earth. The Great Alliance stood as one, a collective will forged in the face of annihilation, ready for the dawn of battle. The moment arrived. With a silent, ancient command, the General unleashed the fury of its kingdom. With a surge of unified might, the ground forces charged, shaking the very foundations of the earth. The termite lines, a wall of unfeeling resolve, awaited the impact, their blind fury unwavering. The earth shuddered as the two titans clashed, a ballet of chitin and primal instinct. In the brutal dance of war, Skill and agility proved crucial against sheer, mindless force. The mighty beetle champion tore through the enemy lines, an unstoppable... From above, the Wasp Squadron launched their precision strike, a whirlwind of speed and sting. The aerial fury broke the termite ranks, creating vital breaches for the ground forces. The Elder Spider, a master of cunning, wove its deadly traps, binding the relentless foe. Exploiting the cunning traps, the ants advanced, turning the tide with precision and swiftness. The tide of battle began to turn, the Allies' combined might slowly overwhelming the enemy's relentless advance. Amidst the chaos, the General remained the unwavering mind of the Alliance, orchestrating victory with every command. Leveraging their agility, ant squads executed brilliant flanking maneuvers, turning the enemy's strength against itself. Its patience exhausted, the termite leader chose to enter the maelstrom, a final, desperate gamble. The termite leader's raw, unbridled power momentarily stemmed the allied tide, pushing them back. The general recognized the ultimate threat, knowing victory depended on confronting the enemy's heart. A focused spearhead, the general and its loyal guard cleaved a path through the enemy, their gaze fixed on the leader. At last, the two titans met, their destinies intertwined in the crucible of war. The clash began, a ballet of life and death, as leaders fought for the very soul of the insect kingdom. Despite overwhelming power, the general's swiftness and tactical brilliance proved a match for brute force. In a moment of sheer brilliance, the general exploited an opening, 
delivering a strike of pivotal importance. Seizing the advantage, the elite guard pressed their assault, their unity a force against the wounded foe. With a roar of desperation, the wounded leader unleashed a furious counterattack, forcing its foes to scatter. Amidst the chaos, the general's strategic mind perceived a singular opportunity for a decisive, final blow. With a surge of ultimate resolve, the general delivered the decisive blow, forever altering the fate of kingdoms. The monstrous termite leader fell, its defeat signaling the collapse of its once unyielding empire. A collective gasp of hope swept through the allied ranks, sensing the final turning of the war. Deprived of their central will, the termite legions fractured, their collective strength dissolving into panicked flight. The dust settled, revealing a victory hard won, a testament to courage and unity against overwhelming odds. The leaders, once strangers, now stood bound by the crucible of war. The victorious soldiers returned to a grateful kingdom, their sacrifice forever etched in the annals of time. Yet, victory came at a terrible price, etched into the scarred earth and countless fallen. Even in triumph, the general carried the burden of loss, the silence of the fallen echoing in its heart. The Ant Kingdom, resilient and unwavering, rebuilt itself, stronger and more united than before. The bonds forged in battle now guarded a hard-won peace, a new era for the insect world. A new generation of scouts ventured forth, carrying the wisdom of their ancestors and the promise of a peaceful future. The very earth, once scarred by conflict, now bloomed anew. As the sun set on a world transformed, a new epoch of peace dawned for the insect kingdom. Their sacrifice and unity were etched into the very earth, a timeless testament for generations to come. The old general, a living legend, gazed upon the memorial, knowing their world. And so, the world of insects, forever changed by the Great War.